right, so we're back to the only game where failing to wash the soap off of your hands will melt your skin and destroy the entire plane that you're on, killing everyone around you. It's Air Marty. More fatal hand sanitation, damn it. Marty is my hero. Marty is my hero because his superpower is being able to ruin the lives of everyone around him through completely mundane acts. See this plate of sad, depressed fish? Someone will die because of this fish. I guarantee it. I just noticed too that the back of the plane just goes into the abyss. There's nothing there. It just turns into darkness. As we slowly tip back our pitcher of fish, the last time we failed to take the belt from the world champ here. But today, God damn it, things are gonna be different. All right, pink boots, let's do this. Also, I have to mention, it looks like he's wearing bikini bottoms for shades. Make your stand. God damn right we will. Boom! This is the second time I've seen Marty angry. The first time was when his wife ended up having sex with a, a dolphin urchin or whatever that was. When that happened, he ended up kamehameha a friggin' hole in the time-space continuum. So, God, I don't know what he's gonna do here. Marty says no, bitch. Listen up, big brother. The bulldozer can't take another strike with the big dude in the sky, Daddy Jack. Look, this fish doesn't care what your religion is. He's staying with me. So hand over that fish. I will not, sir. Marty is the picture perfect example of the guy who would take your cart that you were about to get at Home Depot from you. <laughs> yeah, <what the> <laughs> Holy shit. He kicked us right out of the plane. Now we're both falling to our death bulldozer. You didn't think that one through, did you? Notice how glorious his mustache is. It has complete wind resistance, even though we're falling at terminal velocity. Also, how come I'm legitimately falling and Bulldozer is just standing on air? Say, brother dude, you can take one hell of a bump. Yeah, yeah, that's what 40 years of marriage will do to you. Hop on, daddy. We got work to do. Hop on what? Up and away. Oh God, no. What the hell? Oh, you have to fly on him? Then you can, what is he firing? No, you son of a bitch, pigeon. Well, there goes the world champ. What, did I just get beamed up? Greetings, human. God, even this little alien has a world championship belt. Well, I'll be dip. Greetings to you, friend. I want this alien to be like, human, tell me what you were doing just now. Cause I'd be like, oh yeah, it's very common. I was flying on my friend while he was shooting laser spit at birds just after we ended up falling out of the window of a airliner. Yes, friend. Will you help me, friend? I'm looking for your friendly leader. You can have him. Oh, is that all? Let me drive. I'll have us there in a jiffy. I'm not gonna lie. I grew up in Jersey, but I never had to parallel park a UFO. So drive safe. I think we both know there's no way in hell that we're going to drive safe. Wait. Are you kidding me right now? You basically, oh shit, you be, like, am I supposed to get somewhere? Oh, you are. You're supposed to legitimately go down the roadway here. Yep, you gotta cross the crosswalk. Oh, now I gotta do a full U-turn in the spaceship. I don't know why we have to remain inside of the lanes of traffic when we're a spaceship, but you know what? I guess we're just really safe. I like how well everyone's taking this. Everyone's like, oh, being followed by a spaceship, kind of, kind of tailgating me, rat bastard. Gonna catch him in my dash cam, put it up on YouTube. Did I win? I won? I won a game for once? On behalf of my fellow Americans, let me welcome you. Thank you, friendly leader. We have for you a gift. <laughs> he kept the arm. I thought the hair stayed around. Greeting my fellow earthlings. Friendly news to you all. We have decided to destroy your most unfriendly son. Achievement unlocked. President friendly. Don't you worry, Mr. President. I've been driving poorly my whole life. I'll make sure. <laughs> Whoa, heck of a fender bender there, pal. Am I gonna get road rage right in the face? Unfortunately, my vehicle is uninsured. <laughs> Just what's going on here? That bastard is an uninsured driver. Hey, officer, could you lend a man a hand? Is that a fact? I know just what to do with him. I'm missing teeth. Fresh meat for you boys. Ew. <laughs> oh my God. I got fed to the Bruno twins. Achievement unlocked. 
<laughs> the worst kind of scum. All right, we're doing it for real this time. How long do I have to hang on to this guy? I can't stand the scent of steroids. If I stay on the side over here, then the birds can only hit me from one angle. Okay, baby Jack, need you to run in there and rough somebody up for the bull daddy. I like how this house, its foundation is literally on the trunk of a tree. Also, is this a pit stop or is that as far as you can fly? <laughs> what? This is the only time Marty has had an appropriate response in this entire game. Just run in there and hit him with the old bull terrier motive. Bulldozer, all I have with me is my wit and my gun and my wit isn't very sharp. Huh? We're not getting very far. Come on, dandy daddy. Work with me here. Go bash his knee with this pipe. I need to take a moment to also mention that the animation that had to be used to produce that pipe made it seem like it was being held in a very uncomfortable orifice. Deal! <laughs> he just accepted. It doesn't even look like a pipe. It just looks like a big piece of chalk. Go get him. Feed your bloodlust. Oh, we're getting the bloodlust. Getting the bloodlust. Slowly raising it up. You better... Oh, better give him one more whack just to be sure. Marty goes for the double tap. The triple tap. Okay, now he's just starting to get out of get out of hand here. The head is starting to bulge. Now the eyes coming out of its socket. We're getting to the point where you two might start being pissed, Marty. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Stop! My God! Oh. <laughs> Boy, I haven't had this much fun in years. Where to next, pal? He bent the pipe in half on that guy's skull. An evening with Marty. Look at that picture. All right, I guess it's time to find out when Marty can't stomach the blood. He's failing. He's getting so sad. Bull, you villain! You thought you could take old Lex out with a wimp and a cheap- I don't know what that was. You won't get away with this? That was right, lean ween. <laughs> that snake Bull Logan sent an assassin to strike me in my bed, and his Sunday Night Lex Express is gonna train wreck his ass. That's- that's a terrible sentence but in the light of the evidence and the testimony given here today we have no choice but to strip you of your title effective immediately at the end wait i didn't get any kind of sentence or anything i've been in prison so many times i appreciate they took pity on me for once the one thing that we've never done was put on bulldozer's title belt today's the day marty you're gonna be a champion for the first time in your life here it comes you're doing good marty you almost got it on Bulldozer's cheering. Okay, the, now the cursor is like way the hell not where it's supposed to be. Can you get a little bit more toward the middle? This is kind of bullshit. There we go. <laughs> Fits like a glove. Marty, you're not supposed to wrap it around like your lower chest. At last, freedom. What was that, the source of his power? Is this like Santa Claus? Like now I'm going to become the world champion? What? <laughs> now you must bear the burden. Farewell <laughs> to what? Let's dance, pretty boy. What is this? Oh, you have to fight for life. This is the time to show him what you got, Marty. To be fair, Marty's arms are actually wider than this guy, so maybe he can take him. Defend the title. And there they go. They are... I don't know what the hell that... Did, did I win or lose? Oh my god, Marty is a freaking maniac. Let him go. His, his foot is like over by his neck. Marty's getting carried away by the... <laughs> I think we just committed murder. Whoa, Jesus Christ! That was the pilot! I didn't know the pilot happened to be a wrestler. Three second tan achievement unlocked, along with a face that will never leave my memory. All right, Marty, all you gotta do is get the sh kicked out of you. Got a set of abs on him. That's right! My patron has defeated every opponent across every promotion, and we're not stopping there. That's right, Mr. President. We're about to crash land your ass. Retreat! <laughs> what happened? What does it even mean? I don't even understand what this belt does. Hail to the chief. I've created a monster. Some time ago, Marty ate a piece of chicken and he gave it a one star review, which ended up having him getting sniped through his window in his living room. But today we will rate the chicken a five out of five and I'll probably still die. All right, Marty, all you have to do is hit it right on the green. There it is, five star chickens, five star all the way. I can see why the sound guy got his job because he is balancing on top of the camera. If you just sit here and let the game run, Marty and the host's eyebrows are like talking to one another. They're performing some sort of 
brow-based sign language or maybe a Morse code. Hey guys, I'm picking up something here. What the hell is that? Are we about to get attacked by mut mutated chickens or something? Oh, good Jesus Christ, it's true. I was kidding. <laughs> Defend yourself. I don't even know what I'm defending myself from anymore. By the power of se Oh, we're wielding two guns now. All right, if you if you take take solace behind the chair over here. Nah! Oh god! <laughs> Do I have to protect myself or everyone? I don't even know. Marty. Don't let they're summoning the chicken lord. We failed in our mission to keep him at bay. And now he will destroy all mankind. Or maybe he'll get nuked. Never mind. Uh, well, I I don't know if that was a success or a failure. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marty. But you have to embrace the chickens. That's how it all began. Is that a hole in someone's head from the chicken? Or is that their anus? At last, at first, we thought it was just the poultry <laughs> that rose up for revenge. That was someone's eye, apparently. But the entire damn farm turned the tables on us. Wasn't long before we were totally overrun by pissed off cow. <laughs> now humanity's fate is in my hands. Just call me the butcher. <laughs> wearing a goddamn cow head on his shoulder. Welcome to Farmageddon, everyone. <laughs> so when you give the chicken one star, you end up getting sniped. But we don't know what happens when the sniper fails. Now if I can, I'd like to hit the guy on the television. Marty, you damn maniac! Is he slowly lowering himself down? Oh, he's got a katana now. He's a ninja. Marty just sliced a human being in half. Professor Marty's Nantucket baked chicken. The corpse is in the trash can. At least he put the two halves back together. That was quite nice of him. Please tell me he'll be standing on top of the building, clad in his ninja outfit, looking down upon the plebs as he rules the empire of... Fried chicken. Okay, this is a long pan. There it is. Looking down from his glass window. <laughs> Professor Marty. This was easily the most murderous I've ever seen him. <laughs> anyway, folks, I think that's enough blood for one day to get me demonetized. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Air Marty. Till next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>